Do I have burger in my teeth? How many people are gonna see that? Hey everyone, I'm Shane Torres, and this is the show where we take ordinary food and elevate it to the next level. Today, Chef Nick Testa is gonna make me a classic cheeseburger, and then he's gonna make me the Bonnie Burger. On average, Americans eat three hamburgers a week, totaling 50 billion a year across the country. USA. This is how good can it get. Chef. Hey Shane, how you doing? Full house, man. Yeah, always. I barely make my way in. Thanks for having us here at the Bonnie today, Yeah, man. thanks for coming. So, give us a little backstory about yourself. As a kid, wanted to make a little money, so I started working in delis at the age of 14. That's where all the money is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember the first burger you ever made? I remember my father bringing home these frozen pucks, and I, I was interested <laughs> in what he was doing. I remember just tossing a frozen puck on the grill and waiting for it to cook, and just keep asking my father, oh, when is it done? When is it done? When is it done? And he just reply to me, oh, when it's done. Yeah. It's done when it's done. Do me a favor, tell me why you don't want to throw a frozen patty on the grill. You don't even want to throw a cold patty on the grill, really. You want to try and have the meat come up to room temperature, so the burger's gonna cook evenly all the way through, ah. and you're retaining all those beautiful juices and all the fats and everything in there. So parts of it don't cook out. Exactly. Yeah, my man. So we're gonna serve you two burgers today, Shane. Okay. We're gonna serve you the, my classic burger and the Bonnie burger. I'm ready to try it. Yeah, let's go. So before we get to the grub, tell me a little bit about the Bonnie and the restaurant. We are Astoria's favorite gastro pub. We've been here for about four years now. What are you guys known for here? Definitely our cocktail program. All of our food is great. We have great salads, great snacks, but of course, our burgers are claim to fame here. Good. People come from all around for our burger. I was gonna skip the salad, so. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the first burger I'm having today. So we have my version of a classic burger, which is just a five ounce patty on a potato sesame seed bun with some pickles and American cheese. Not too many bells and whistles on this. No, you don't need it. The beef and the bun and the cheese, they all speak for themselves and you could taste them all in one bite. And that's what's so important about that classic nostalgic burger. For sure. So we're gonna try the classic burger first. I'm gonna go whip one up for you. Now we're gonna make my version of a classic burger. First, we're gonna take a five ounce patty. We're gonna season both sides with a little salt and pepper. And just like my father used to do, we're gonna throw it right on the char grill. So here we got a sesame seed potato bun, which is the classic way to have your backyard burger. We're gonna take the bun, we're gonna smear a little butter on it, and we're gonna toast it up nice golden brown. So I think we're ready to give the burger a flip now. Nice char marks on it. That's where all the flavor comes from. All the fats and the proteins cooking. We're gonna put on American cheese, as classic as it could get. We got our buns almost toasted here, and we're ready to build our burger now. Take the bottom of our bun, place a few crinkle cut hot and spicy pickles on it. Burger should be all ready to go. Nice melted American cheese on there. Simple, beautiful, perfect. Let's go see what Shane thinks. I got your classic burger here. All right. Smells like 4th of July. Patriotism. Walk us through this. What do we got here? Pretty simple patty here. Okay. Sesame seed potato bun, okay. American cheese, and a couple hot and spicy pickles. Nice. Dude, this is just like a backyard burger I would have when I was a kid. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, do it. That's cooked to perfection. Pickles are nice. I'm gonna talk with my mouth full and I don't care. Cause look, I don't want it, it's my show. And the pickles have the perfect amount of zest to them. This beef is fantastic. I'm not gonna be a gentleman about this. No, no, right. go ahead. I can't unsee that. <laughs> <laughs> this is legit, tried and true, real backyard burger. Oh, thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so much, man. If you like that burger, then you're really gonna like our Bonnie burger. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, look. We've had our regular burger, now we're gonna kick it up a notch and have our Bonnie burger. 
We're gonna start with a five ounce dry aged patty. We're gonna season it, salt, pepper on one side. We're gonna throw them down here on the flat top. We're gonna season the other side with a little salt, pepper. Next step is getting our pork belly going. We have a few slices of a ready braised off pork belly, and we're just gonna go ahead and crisp this up on the flat top. Getting two slices of pork belly per burger. To make our pork belly nice and extra crispy, we're gonna go ahead and throw a little weight on top. We have a brioche tuxedo sesame seeded bun. We're gonna butter them up and throw them right on the flat top. Pork belly's looking beautiful, nice and golden brown all the way around. We're gonna flip these burgers now. They're looking perfect. Next step, we're gonna get our frizzled onions going. We have our buns, nice and toasted. Pork belly's looking nice and golden brown. Let's check our frizzled onions. Go into the bowl. Gonna give them just a little bit of seasoning with salt. So next step is the American cheese and we're gonna crisscross it to give that even melt and that beautiful look to the cheese. We're gonna throw that up in the salamander for about 20 seconds. So we're gonna remove our burgers out of the salamander. American cheese should be nice and beautifully melted. Yes, it is. So now I'm gonna sauce the bun. This is our Bonnie special sauce. And I always think it's important to sauce the bottom of the bun rather than the top because chances are when you grab onto that burger, it's just gonna slide out on you. Three slices of crinkle cut spicy pickle. Burger goes right on top. Then we have our beautiful crispy pork belly. And then finally, frizzled onions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bonnie Burger. Let's go and give it a taste. Here we go, Shane, our famous Bonnie Burger. You know when they say when you fall in love that you don't hear anything, you just see something? Hello, Bonnie. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> mm, this is incredible. Look at my hands are covered. I'm gonna go home smelling like this and I'm not gonna be mad about it. No, it's gonna be all in your beard, <laughs> beard later. Yeah. You're gonna save, save some something. Later. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly it's not here for an aesthetic. Mmm. <laughs> The pork belly is a vision, and the cheese is perfect. Oh, this is fantastic. I love how you took the regular elements from your classic in-house burger and just added two or three things. You didn't overdo it, but you made them sensational. How did you come up with the idea for all of these elements? So I was trying to think of a burger that, you know, thinking of the classic burger, and then to elevate it, going from, you know, your standard beef blend yeah. to going to a dry age blend and giving that kind of funk that I feel like a burger needs. So, was there a eureka moment when you like when you, when you added the pork belly where you're just like, this is... Oh yeah, I feel like this was my fifth version here. When I crisped up the pork belly and threw it on there along with the special sauce, that's when I know I hit it right on the head. My mother once said, the, sometimes the only thing you can say is thank you. So, I love this thing, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. It means a lot that you enjoy the burger and I enjoy the place. I enjoy the place. Oh, it, yeah. it all goes together. You guys know what you're doing here. I'm going to stay here and finish this thing while you go work and make a few more of these for these busy people out here. Yeah, I got to get uh, back in there. Thanks uh, for coming. Appreciate you, Chef. Take yeah. care of yourself. All right, everybody. That was Chef Nick Testa and my new girlfriend, Bonnie. Americans eat three hamburgers a week, but if you're going to try one, Make sure it's here at the Bonnie in Astoria, Queens. I'm Shane Torres. This has been How Good Can It Get? How you doing, Doug? <laughs>